This is Donovan. And I represent Native America. Donovan is one of five million Native Americans, the true indigenous people of the United States. I wanted to tell you his story today because Native Americans do not get the recognition they deserve. In Arizona, we're, Navajo Nation is one of 22 tribes, and in the state of Arizona, home to two of the largest tribal landmass in the United States. And of the Navajo Nation, there are about 310,000 plus strong in population. The fact that the U.S. is so big with so many people people who come from so many different backgrounds, we often forget who the original humans were that settled on this land 15,000 years before European colonization. So this is our traditional footwear. This is mine, and it's a traditional um, moccasins. We say kethche. It's a deer hide, buckskin. It could be elk, um, but mostly deer. Now this is a traditional necklace, and what it means is on the right side strand represents your mother. The left is your father, and then this is you. So it looks like an umbilical cord that ties yeah. your family. What I love about Donovan and other Native Americans is that they are proud of their heritage and they do everything to preserve it. When you get to know a Native American and you go into their home, you'll see that humor plays a big portion of the culture. It's in the way we address one another and how we, we laugh. And in your home with your family, you speak Navajo? Yeah, we do. The language, uh, like I said, scientifically is would be Athabascan um, and it shares general similarities to with uh, the Apache tribe. But the language is very important because we come from a rural area, this is what identifies ourselves. And mm -hmm. you know, our history, our culture has been carried in through song and dance. There's so much lessons in just a simple phrase of yate. Yate, we can say is a good morning or yate could mean everything is great. As I'm sure you know a thing or two about American history, there have been many clashes between the Native Americans and the huge influx of immigrants. What are some of the struggles that Native Americans are facing in today's world? Two things that we do face is land and water our land rights, what comes with that, and then the water rights. We have a, um, four rivers that border our Navajo Nation and one of the biggest rivers is the Colorado River. And when you have a big metropolitan area like Phoenix, you're, you know, you're taking water away from naturally from the land, uh, from people that are not getting its fair share. Of course, Native Americans have mostly adapted to a Western lifestyle, but they have maintained their traditions very well. This is why Donovan has hair down to his waist. Yeah, so the hair usually would be um, done up in a traditional bun for men and women, and we call it siyes. But today I have it in a braid. The length of the braid represents the wisdom that you have. So the more wise. wisdom. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm only about 12, 13 years wise. So today we live in a modern world. We have jobs, we have cars, and we don't live in teepees or hogans today. Other tribes have different apps with uh, keyboards with traditional lettering. I actually love it because Google Translate hasn't totally translated all of Navajo. So I can go online on Facebook or I go on Instagram and make a really cool quote in Navajo and it's kind of our own secret code. So what are the reservations like? Do you guys have your own laws and what's the system like? It's exactly right. We have, um, we, we were allotted lands and Navajos and a few other tribes here in Arizona are fortunate to be treaty tribes not every tribe in the United States is a treaty tribe. So we are 27,000 square miles. So we're actually larger than the state of West Virginia. The reservation, or what I call the Navajo Nation, has its own separate laws. We have a three branch government, similar to the United States, and we govern ourselves. We have a council. In the end, it was the Native Americans who laid down the foundations for this country, and we should all acknowledge and appreciate this. If you ask me, Native American culture and tradition is one of the most beautiful things about the United States of America. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.